Yo! <laughs> I was not expecting that. One thing I have learned. Always save. And save often. Problem is, is I don't know if you can save without exiting. It says in the menu, if you look at the menu, it says save and exit. Which I want to be able to save and not have to exit. Ooh, we were down to almost no health. Okay, we've got an egg cluster right there. Yeah, see if... Let's take a look at the... Menu. See if it's... Because if you die, you lose everything that you had on you. So you want to save as much as you can. I'm afraid to hit the save exit because... Well, then you're just going to go back to the very beginning and have to start everything over again. I mean, go back to the beginning of starting a new session for recording. I had to start over because I had a ton of these research chips and I made the mistake of following one of those pig things to try to kill it and it led me over the mountain and and I got killed by a base because it has they have security guns so always be very cautious where you go because they will auto-target you and kill you pretty easily. I was even eating fruit at the time when I was getting shot at and it just it kills you pretty quick. Or if you get into a situation like this where you're gathering a whole bunch of research chips, head back to your base before too long. Just to drop them. The green and the yellow. The green gets you the most points. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. 16 value. 33 value. 25. Yeah. So the, the green are the greatest value for these chips. And so you get quite a bit points for 200 credits, 250 points for destroying a whole egg cluster. Okay, let's see. We're going to gather some of these resources. I won't make you sit through all this gathering resources. Well, welcome to Northern Ants, by the way. <laughs> um, we are in Pentopia, if that's how you pronounce it. It's a lot of fun. If if you have not played it yet, now that they are actually working on it again after all these years, it it's worth it. I highly recommend checking it out. There's a multiplayer version too. This is the single player, which there was no single player when I played it the first time around. So it, it definitely worth the giving it a shot. Now these pigs, I think you want to be as close to them as you can when you start shooting them because they run fast. Yeah, see they just they take off and they keep on going. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Out of nails. Okay, well, we're going to head back to our base. The pigs are really good value because they give you minerals and they also give you uh, 
research points. So they are worth getting. It's, you just want to have a better gun than a nail gun because they run. <laughs> you want to be able to take them out quick. Oh, it's the bass back of my base. So if you're looking for a new game to try, give this one a go. I'm going to have to change my recommendation on on Steam too. I I have it as a not recommend right now because it's been it's been kind of a dead game for so many years. I didn't in good conscience feel I could recommend it for a long time. It felt like they took off with our money. <laughs> But happy to be wrong about that. That's one one mistake devel some developers make is they go radio silent on things, and they need to do is be constantly keeping us updated on Steam of the progress that they're making. And a lot of times they have a Discord channel, but you know not everybody is on Discord. You should be able to go to the Steam page where you actually purchase the product and be able to see how your money that you spent on it is being used to make the product that you purchased. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I don't know if, you know, what's your thoughts on that? I got my hover bike. I should probably use that. But you have to get on it, get off, get on off. When Every time you come up to a mineral that you want to get, that's the other thing that's definitely improved is the fact that there are a ton of minerals. I remember when it first came out, it was like you had to go far, far away to get to find minerals that you needed. And they were so far, few and far between. Okay, good. Now we can actually get the space is so tiny compared to what it can be. <laughs> I'm just thinking back to my base that I had the first time I played through before the game broke. Okay, now. Now this, I don't think we can, like these guns and stuff that are not good anymore, I wonder if there might be a repair center. Okay, let's throw that in there. And some more iron and some more copper. That's a lot of berries, but the amount that you lose when you get hit. Okay, let's take a look. We need nails. And we want another nail gun. Okay. And nails. Oh, can we just write what we want? Okay, so let's try 75. Yeah, not enough. Oh, we had enough for t 100, so 100 nails. Now, let's go take a look over here and grab some more of this. We got that. And, okay, what is my... My guy's got a nervous twitch, I guess. Now, if we shift click, okay, it does stack it. That's good. Yeah, there's nothing in this one. Let's throw a couple of these fruits in there. It's always good to have some backups. And now we can tab and research. Okay, here we go. We've got the coal generator. Okay, we can unlock that. And a refiner. The smelter. Let's get the. Oh, let's see. Wait a minute. The hatchet. I've got 320, so I can actually get both of these. Okay, good. This hatchet. Credit. Oh, wait a minute. Is it not? This tool is used to remove trees. Okay. This is now we can get trees. That's good. Okay, crafting. Nice. Okay, let's see what we can. Can we build what 
smelter, where's the generator? It must be up in the part stuff that we can actually build right now. It is, okay. Uh, okay, let's build a coal generator. And let's get the hatchet too. Because I'm hoping that now the hatchet will actually be better. Oh, here, let's let's put these lights up. So this way now, we'll put it up over the tops of the stuff that we have right now. Now when we have the generator going, we will be able to see in here, in the dark. <laughs> okay, we will make this corner the generator corner. Okay, now we need to get coal, because as long as you have generation being done, the base does not decay. Okay, let's add the coal. Burning process, okay, good. And now that will make, see, now the lights are on. Let's go, let's go see how this hatchet works for harvesting. Oh, let's reload our nail gun too. Because now we got a hundred. This game is going to be hard to keep short episodes. <laughs> I'm just going to have to like randomly stop and just start new. Oh, wait a minute. The hatchet is for trees. Let's see. Let's hit a tree. Doesn't. Is it actually do anything to it, or is it? It said it was for cutting trees. Huh. Let's see if it works for harvesting anything else. Well, if it's not going to harvest trees, this axe has really got no purpose unless you can use it for fighting, and I don't really want to test it. Because if you're testing it and it... <laughs> it seems to be chopping up ground particles. Oh well, let's grab some of this. There is one of those bigger creatures over there, but I don't know if it would be a good idea to attack it. Because I don't know how it's going to handle the, the nail gun's going to handle it. But we need to get out there and do some more attacking and stuff because that's the only way we're going to get better weapons, is if we can upgrade. Let's not turn our backs on that. I'm going to end the episode right here. And that way, when we start the next episode, we'll have a... We're going to attack that guy. <laughs> Might be a bad idea, but we will try it. Let's go take a look at our base one last time, and then we will head end this episode. And look forward to trying out our nail gun on that big guy. It depends how fast he is too. It might be might be bad. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. Please remember hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget hit that subscribe button if you've not done so yet. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. Well this video has ended. But the nice thing is is if you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, you'll get notifications when the next video comes out. Take this opportunity to go over to my homepage 
and check out some of my other videos. I have a wide variety of different topics, so I hope you enjoy them. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.